this is m square minus a square over m square plus b m plus a m plus a b divided by m square minus 2 a m plus a square over c m plus b c the numerator here is difference of two square so if i apply the rule there that will be m plus a times m minus a all over this i'm going to group it two by two and see if we can have a common factor if we group it two by two here yeah, m will become one so we left with m plus b yeah and that will be good so if i group this two by two m is common there so that if i factor m i have m into m plus b then plus this also if you group it two by two a will be common i have a into m plus b divided by this is quadratic here so let's look for two factors of the products first if i have m square <coughs> minus 2 a m plus a square to factorize that we multiply the first time by the last term m square times a square is a m square a square m square rather <coughs> now two factors of a square m square that can add up to 2 a m will be this is like saying 1 a square m square and factors of 1 is 1 one does not have any other factor apart from itself so this will be a m and a m but we're looking for negative 2 a m so how do we add a m and a m to get negative 2 a m both of them have to be negative the so negative a m negative a m so that negative a m plus negative a m is negative is 2 a m <coughs> so now i'm going to replace this middle term with these factors so this become m square minus a m minus a m plus a square over here if i group it c is common i have c into m plus b so this become m plus a and m minus a over we have a common factor m plus b here so factor it out m plus b then pair this and this together m plus a divided by if you group this first pair here m will be common so that when we factor out m we have m into m minus a the same thing if we group these two together a will be common so we have m minus a remember if i introduce a bracket here this plus will no longer be plus but a minus that is why i'm putting a minus here then all over c bracket m plus b and this is m plus a into m minus a all over m plus b into m plus a divided by we have a common factor m minus a here then we'll group this and this together oh it's even a perfect square also m minus a twice m minus a twice and c into m plus b and note that whenever we divide one fraction by another fraction the sign of division will always change to multiplication so this become m plus a m minus a over m plus b m plus a instead of divide now that is times and when we do that we multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction so this now becomes c into m plus b all over m minus a times m minus a so this m minus a can cancel this m minus a m plus b can cancel m plus b here there's another m plus a here which can cancel this m plus a so all in all what we have left here is one one times c is c so our final answer therefore is c over m minus a you see that complex fraction has reduced to this small thing there